Hello, boys and girls. In today's episode of my Swiss River Guide, we take another look at the hinterrhein. We already had two episodes about the lowest sections. Now let's turn our attention to the uppermost one, from hinterrhein to Splügen. The put-in is directly at the bridge of the road to the San Bernardino Pass. The minimal water level is 5 cubic meter per second, like here. At higher flows, some of the passages rise in their difficulty quickly. At this flow, you can expect white water level 2, uh, with two sections being a 3. Only a few hundred meters after getting on the water, there is a weir to be portaged on the left side. Until the Genoese stone bridge, the Hinterrhein flows through a wide basin, which at times can pose difficulties due to the wide riverbed. From this bridge, it gradually gets narrower and steeper. At the next bridge, it really narrows and the river enters a small V-shaped gorge with many boulders and drops. On this section, high flows do have quite an impact, as we had broken paddles and defect boats. At low flow, this part is technical, as there are quite a few boulders to get around. With more water, they are underwater and due to the steepness form quite a few holes. Due to the water levels required, the best season is during snowmelt from mid-May into June. Rainfall might also help. When the waterfall from the right brings more water, the difficulties decrease again and the valley opens. The gradient is still quite high and there are many rapids and even small steps, but you get time to have a look around. Nearing the village Nuvenen, the river approaches the right valley side with some slightly increased difficulties. At this high, you also start to see some conifer trees at the shore. Below Nuvenen, after a left turn, there is another cataract at which end the Aurea Creek flows into from the right, adding quite a bit of water. Then it is more of the same already known from above. After the village of Medals, you see the river turn left into the final cataract. Over the years, the section changes with higher gradient at the start or at the end. When turning right again, parallel to the road, you drive into an S-curve with some holes at the exit. Here again, higher water levels make it quite a bit more difficult.
but it is not over yet. After the highway bridge, there is another artificial boulder weir that I tend to forget every time. After that, the put out is on the left shore at the end of the gravel bank. As it can be larger or smaller, you should check it out beforehand to not miss the exit. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!